rather take opium than food. Hmm. And so they end up hitting, you know, they set up these animal studies with either rats or mice or sometimes monkeys where they have two levers, two buttons they can push. They can push one button and they continue getting sugar. They can push another button and they can get food, whatever their normal food is. Mm. Most of them will continue pressing that sugar until they die. Mm. Same thing for dangerous drugs. They'll keep pressing that until they die because the brain and the reward pathways um, are, are activated. So fool's gold is, um, is a nice way of putting it. But um, it's we're we're actively killing ourselves by by falling into that. The the three steps that I, um, I'm describing craving. So when that person gets off work, all of a sudden they might start craving that sugar, mm -hmm. right? And just like a person that you know didn't do drugs all day starts craving the drug, mm -hmm. then what you typically do now is binge. You take a lot of it, right? Because you've been craving it. All day. I've been craving it all day. I'm not just going to take one drop. I'm mm -hmm. going to take as much as I, I like. Of course, I earned it. I worked hard in the sun. I did all of that. So I've, I've earned it. Um, same thing for the, the, the drug user. They, they, they're they not going to just take a small amount. They're going to take mm -hmm. plenty. So that's mm -hmm. the binging. So what happens when you binge? Levels go up. You feel happy. But those levels have to come down. They come down far lower than before. That's called the crash. And that crash is w withdrawal. So you now start having withdrawal feelings, which with, after withdrawal, you want to start craving it again. So um, it's a vicious cycle. And we'll talk about cycles today as well. It's a cycle that just continues. The more you play into the cycle, the more it continues mm. and the harder it is to break. So that's the purpose of this show is to inform people that those cycles exist and that um, we need to do everything we can to break it. Mm. All right. So thank you very much for your thoughts on that one, Dr. Abiola. This is 16 minutes gone past 10 from WFM 91.7. If you are just joining us, you're listening to Radio Doctor. This is Radio Doctor, your free health consultation program where real doctors advise real people. Radio Doctor is Nigeria's first specialized radio health program where medical doctors consult for free on your women radio. Radio Doctor is broadcast Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Our radio doctor for today is Dr. Abiola Ajayi, and he is consulting and advising on how sugar is slowly killing us. Now, Dr. Abiola, I would like to ask you this one. Yes, we've been talking about how, you know, when you take sugar, this happens to you and all of that. Mm -hmm. Is there any benefits, you know, when you take sugar? Does, the, does sugar benefit the body in any way? Uh, I want to be clear and, and concise. Um, no, I want to say no. Okay? no. okay. Now, some people can analyze that and pick at it. Yes. Like I said before, our body uses glucose, which is found in some sugars, right? Our body uses glucose, but it is not required. We can break down fat and make glucose. So, but see, there's been not millions, billions of dollars have been spent to convince us that we do need sugar. Billions of dollars have been spent by especially the soft drink companies and the snack companies to say that you need sugar. It can help you. Um, even the packaging on, on um, I went to the, and I was, before I come to this show, I go to the supermarket and look what's available. So I want to, not just what I eat, but what's available outside. And I still saw it again yesterday that all, a lot of these things that have high amounts of sugar, put they put heart healthy, they put low fat, they put all these things on the packaging to make it seem like it's healthy. Um, I, I know somebody bought a big thing of milk and it was in French. So I don't think they knew what it said. But when I read it in French, it said sugar milk. That was what it was. Wow. And I took it from there's a mother that wanted to use it for her baby. And I took it. I took it from her. I said, you may not know what this thing is. Mm. So we now looked at the ingredients. Sugar was the first ingredient, not milk. Mm. You know, the ingredients are listed in, in the amount that they are. So the largest amount is sugar. The next amount is milk. In a package of milk, it had a cow on the front of it. it said it was fortified with vitamin A and vitamin D. Wow. And that's just liquid death is the only best way to, to call it. If you can't call it liquid death, you can at least call it liquid diabetes. Hmm. And there's something called diabetes, which we've talked about before, but we mention it again. It's where you, you have difficulties processing sugar and glucose and it's usually because of lack of insulin diabetes is 
Now, diabetes and by extension, something called metabolic syndrome. These are the number one cause of death in the world. This is not a small disease that only a few people Diabetes? get. Diabetes? Diabetes. Yeah, well, I'm using the broader term metabolic, metabolic syndrome. Okay. So included in metabolic syndrome, diabetes. And, and when we talk about the syndrome, we're talking about people that are typically have high blood pressure or are obese, have impaired glucose tolerance as difficulty with insulin and processing of glucose. And they typically have heart disease um, as, as well. And what we've seen is that all of these things are tied together. So, um, and then there are different types of sugar. So we've mentioned glucose repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Let's use the glucose your body can use, right? So when people, when you ask the question, do people need sugar? Most of the sugar that we find commercially available okay. is not glucose, mm -hmm. it's fructose. Because mm -hmm. fructose, is almost like a free sugar. It's a waste product from corn processing. And so you'll see something called high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup. Okay. Um, they even sell it for people wanting to bake cakes and make okay. things. Okay. This is a very cheap sweetener. Okay. Um, fructose, for example, now let's say we eat something, it enters your gut or your, your stomach, right? It's stomach, small intestines. The glucose goes to, everything goes to the liver. Mm -hmm. The liver looks at the glucose does it does it need any glucose if it needs glucose it will take in glucose if it doesn't need glucose it will let it continue to the rest of the cells and the cells will use it if it's excess then it will now start storing it as fat fructose hasn't there's an enzyme in the liver that metabolizes or 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 breaks down fructose it's always on because fructose looks like it's is a poison to the liver so that enzyme is always there. It doesn't look, do I have enough fructose? Do I need any fruct? It's always processing. And what it does, as soon as it gets fructose, it converts it into fat in mm. the liver. Mm. Once the liver is full of fat, because the liver is it can, it's a finite space, it starts dumping that fat into the bloodstream. That, blood, that fat in the bloodstream typically ends up around our belly and our hips and as fat. You know, these are fat people. But it also ends up in our blood vessels. Hmm. And that narrows our blood vessels, causing us to have chest pain, heart hmm. attacks, stroke, hmm. blurry vision, kidney disease. When you now, if you now think, is it blood important? Is it important to have good blood flow to our organs? What would you say? Hmm. Yes, right? Okay, did you know that sugar decreases the blood flow to your organs? Okay. Right? Long term, long term ingestion of sugars especially fructose and fructose we find in anything sweet we find fructose in all those drinks that we talked about okay in our fruit juices added when they add sugar they typically are adding fructose not glucose okay and also in our foods our bread this white bread that we eat which i call white cake it's not bread in nigeria does have a lot of fructose in it and if you just think of fructose as a poison that poison now generates fat in the liver fat in the bloodstream fat everywhere hmm. reducing blood flow there are numerous medical studies. These are studies done in a lab with different patients, thousands of them that they, they now said no added sugar for 30 days. What happens if you don't eat sugar for 30, for days? 30 days? What do you think happens? What do you think? <laughs> I can't say. So some people think that everyone will go mad. They go crazy and start running around because we need sugar, right? Mm. What, what we found after three to seven days, on average five days for people is that in those first five days, there were cravings for okay, sugar, okay. right? Um, craving, withdrawal, those kind of those kind of things. If you can fight through those first five days, the cravings, good for it. the cravings drop a lot. After two weeks, people noticed that their their mental acuity, the meaning their mind processes, were much faster. Mm -hmm. They were tested on memory. You know, give you three pictures, and can you remember those pictures? Or they'll have maybe twenty things and flip them over all different memory tests. Those that deprive themselves of sugars for anywhere from 14 to 28 days, two to two to four weeks, had significantly higher scores. Wow. Even um, there, even a study I read, that was in 2007, they tested the same people before and the same people after. after. So, and the only difference before and after was one month of no added sugar. Hmm. Almost all of them scored higher. A lot of them, um, so much, 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 much higher. Your brain works better. Your energy levels are higher. Your weight is better. There are a thousand advantages to 
taking out sugar and there's no drawbacks hmm. does not mean that you're going to have less energy you're going to actually have more energy does it mean that you're going to lose weight where you um people think that you have uh, cancer or some other thing no you'll lose weight down to your normal you know what your body is really supposed to be a lot of us are walking around say a lot of us the majority of us are walking around with more weight than we're supposed to have mm. um we have a cultural thing here too like as i've been losing weight a lot of people are worried <laughs> a lot of people are worried that i hope everything's I fine with the well. business mm -hmm. i said the business is fine okay. i hope everything is fine with you at home i said everything is fine everything is great why do you ask oh just because you're, <laughs> you're losing weight. so you know we have that thing that if you're not successful unless you're fat really you or know when you're suffering or when, or <laughs> exactly so I'm here to say I'm not suffering. Feel feel fantastic. Mm. Um, I would probably and and I've said before I I'm the kind of person that every night I would drink this chocolate drink. Okay. And I put about five tablespoons, not teaspoons, tablespoons of sugar. That was my enjoyment. I said I work all day. You know the stress what? I go through. Yeah. I deserve to enjoy a sweet drink. Wow. You know so. But I didn't know I was killing myself. Mm. I would drink that. My ankle would hurt. My wrist would hurt. My knee would hurt. I would take pain medication. The next day, drink the same thing, take pain medication. Didn't know that. It comes I'm, a cycle. It comes a cycle. And uh, you don't know, you are actively killing yourself. Every time you pour that sugar in, you're, you're, really, you're really just uh, doing it to yourself. And it's over time. So as time goes on, it builds up and builds up. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's why we're here. We really, there's really no need for it there's there's nothing so, nothing mm, good about it at about all. sugar hmm. nothing interesting i must say so you mean if we don't take sugar we have our brain functioning well better yes if we don't take sugar we tend to cut down on our weight yes. and then we have more exercise more energy yes. because I, I feel that some people prefer to take sugar because they want to gain energy. So yes. are you not saying that not taking this sugar would even give you more energy? Yeah, so it's long-term energy versus short-term. Okay. So sure, sugar in the short-term, we see it in children all the time. Sugar, you, you give children sugar, you see them running all up and down. Mm. But an hour or two later, you see they're they're sleeping, right? Because the, of, the, of the crash. It's short-term. And when you now look at all the negative drawbacks that mm. is affecting your, your memory, your heart health, your blood vessels, it's it's not worth it if you cut it out for long term you will have on average much higher not small much higher energy levels mm -hmm. and you won't need to be looking for something to eat to maintain them as i'm sitting here now i'm not eating anything since last night mm -hmm. i have plenty of energy all i've drank is just water just straight up water out of a bottle it's um once you make that lifestyle change, if you look back, you'll see that <laughs> you know, you'll see that I, you won't even hard. understand why. You won't even understand like why. Was, like do it with totally with carbonated drink. Oh yeah. Oh my. This yeah. is, is really yeah. hard. That carbonated drink is the for example, now if I want to eat the amount of sugar in one or two of those things would be like ten or ten to twenty apples. Mm. The if we talk about you know, the amount of sugar in, in those things, we're talking about the bad sugars, fructose. Yes, yes. Those things are almost 100% hmm. of the sugars that they use are those fructose and the poisonous ones. So um, there are other things to enjoy in life. You, you know, there was a time we never drank those things. You yes. know, they, I'm sure your mother didn't give you as a baby, mm -hmm. right? Um, and you as, survived. And you survived. And you actually were happy then, mm. right? So um, there's a lot of like I keep saying, there's a lot of money spent to make us not want to give up those drinks, mm. right? The number one drink producer in the world spends a lot of money still on marketing and advertisement. So subconsciously, you'll see this red and white sign or you see this blue and white sign. Yeah. And it's subconsciously reinforcing your need for, for that. Mm. You do not need it. You do not need you it. You do not need sugar. You do not, mm. you do not need sugar. Interesting. 28 minutes, gone past 10 from the side of the radio. Glad to know that you're still there tuned in to the BFM 91.7. This is Nigeria's first and only radio station for women and their families. If you are just joining us, you're listening to Radio Doctor. Radio Doctor is Nigeria's first 
Radio Health Program, where real doctors advise real people for free. Radio Doctor airs Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on the BFM 91.7. My name is Blessed Agbeto, and our Radio Doctor for today is Dr. Abiola Ajayi, the MD CEO of RA Specialist Hospital. And today we are consulting and advising on how sugar is slowly killing us. We've missed some calls, so please do well to call us back. 07000 917 917. That is the number to call to be a part of the conversation. You can also send us a text and WhatsApp message on 0703 175 6537. Log on to our website www.wfm917.com. Download the mobile app, the BFM 917. Yes, send in your contributions to our social media platforms, the BFM 917. Now, still talking about sugar. You're saying sugar is no not beneficial to the body. No. Like, it's not poisonous. in any way poisonous. Poisonous. Po poisonous instead. It's poisonous to the body, yes. Mm. So, if we're not going to take sugar, we have to take something. Yeah. What can we take in place of sugar? Okay, so now let's talk about some of the, where you can find good sugars. Um, because if I have any chemist or any um, nutritionist or any smart people listening, the first thing one of them will want to say is that apples, let me, I'm just using apples because an apple a day is supposed to keep the doctor away, right? Mm. Have you heard that before? Yeah. An apple a day keeps the doctor yes. away. Yes. So if you look inside an apple, an apple has fructose, right? And that's the evil sugar that I'm talking about. What we have to know is the amounts, right? So okay. in an apple, the amount of fructose is... One apple may be one fiftieth of what's in one can of soda. Mm. So we, you can't compare the two. And then on top of the apple has so many beneficial um, other compounds, you know, fiber, um, different vitamins and minerals that are that are fantastic for the body. Mm. In the can of can or bottle of soft drink, there's zero. There's nothing there besides the sugar. There's nothing there for you. Nothing there good for your good for your body. So um, we can replace those things with better options so if you're the kind of person that drinks um a few of those drinks a day replace with an apple and mm. i picked the apple because i can find that on almost the, everywhere. almost anywhere right mm. um i'm not picking strange fruits that um you know don't grow here or are very very expensive apples are cheap and you can find them anywhere um i eat local bananas they're fantastic they taste very good taste better than the ones i eat in the states um they're smaller those are organic those are real yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ones that we see, if you go to the supermarket in the in the U.S., those are bananas about 20 times the size or 10 times the size, but they're not as healthy as the ones that we have here. So the, the natural sugars um, are always better because they're surrounded by other things that help us, like the fibers and the, mm. the, 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 the meat. Sorry, the fibers, the vitamins, and the minerals. If um, we talked about pasta and grains last, last week, those have starches, right? Those starches... Um, also have sugars inside. You want to reduce those if you're trying to reduce weight. Okay. okay? okay. Um, anytime you want to reduce weight, you have to reduce the sugar and the starch first because those things become fat in the liver and fat in the body. Okay. But if I if I have somebody that says, Doc, I can take one spoon of rice or drink one soda, I would always say the spoon of rice is better, right? Mm. Because that's a starch. It has some glucose. It has some fructose. But at the end, it's far better than drinking the poison. You know, we challenged listeners last week, take your favorite soft drink, put a rusty nail inside. Um, if you did that last week, if you check that nail today, it looks brand new. You could go and sell it back in the store. You don't want all those things in your body. Things that can strip nails of rust should not enter your body, mm. right? You wouldn't go to you wouldn't go to the carpenter and say, hey, carpenta. I'm not carpenter, right? Carpenta. <laughs> you wouldn't go to the carpenta in Nigeria and yeah. ask them, hey, I have some rusty nails. Give me a chemical. And then you wouldn't drink that chemical, right? Mm. But we're doing it every day. So you want to replace them with things that have fiber. Okay. Fiber are veg fruits and vegetables, mm. right? I like to say vegetables and fruits because vegetables are better. They have less of the sugars, right? So you replace those things with your with things that have fiber. Fiber bulks. Fiber will increase. It will, will take up space so you're full. Okay. It has less of the poisonous sugars. Okay. And it has less of the sugars that are going to increase your glucose rate and your blood sugar and make you crash later on. 
so that's that's my that's my advice get rid of all the cakes the cookies the chocolates the well, candies you cannot do it with all this things yeah <laughs> you just you know you just want mm. to eat them you want to there are times that you're craving for cake and just like you said this yeah. life is just one no? and I'm sometimes not... you just want to sit down and say oh, let me just binge on this thing i'm i'm i was anticipating you saying that and i said there's two types of people here we have africans and africans so if you're the kind of person that is always saying i can't do this i can't do that more than likely you're not going to get success not just in the diet but in other things mm. if you're a kind of person that says you know i'm an african i can do this uh, i'm ready to do this and you have a a reason you know if you're not happy with how you feel every time every day mm. you wake up in the mm. morning mm. if you're not happy at how you look when you look in the mirror if you're not happy with how your mind is working, mm. then I'm you talking to, to you, <laughs> right? Mm. I always tell people, if you want serious results, you have to do serious things, right? Play stupid games, get stupid prizes, right? Play serious games, get serious prizes. So if you really want something serious to happen, then we have to make some serious changes. But the good news is that once you do it for some time, it becomes much easier. Now, uh, somebody gave me a juice drink. Okay. We celebrated our 10 year anniversary. So uh, that's the, I think the, it's an invite. the, it was just internal. Don't worry. Your own part, your, your own party is separate. <laughs> okay. We'll do a different type of party. So they gave me a drink and I drank some of it. I drank probably about a third of it immediately had a headache, terrible, mm. terrible headache. And I remind, I remembered why I don't drink those things anymore. So you'll even, it'll even get so good that if you were to deviate, your body will remind you why you didn't. Mm. Now, if I, you know, if my kids have a birthday or something like that and they have a birthday cake, I'll take half of a half of a half of a piece and I'll eat it with them, take my pictures and keep moving on. But in terms of me, and I'm telling you from somebody, you know, the chocolate bars that have peanuts, I won't mention the name, but the chocolate bars that have peanuts. Yeah, right? yeah. I, they, I, have, sh I should have stock in that company. I used to eat two <laughs> to four every day. Wow. So... If I can stop, and on top of that, I would drink the sodas as well. This is just last year, hmm. so I know what I know how it how it is. I I felt I deserved all those treats. I said I'm not drinking alcohol. Of course, I don't do drugs. I work and I come home. I deserve a chocolate bar and a and a soda, right? But uh, it was killing me. Hmm. And all the different people, you know, people have been reaching out to us on Facebook and other. Every a lot of people are saying the same kind of thing that um, when they've made those changes, they can see the results. The results. Yeah. So I just want to challenge people to try and make the change, try and stick it out for a month and see. Mm. More than likely, a month without sugar. Yeah, you can mm. do it. Yes. You can do it. Yeah. I think it. I'm going to hop on this challenge. Yes. Yeah. A month without sugar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's yeah. do this. Let's do it. And okay, call so in and let us know, mm -hmm. you know, how you're doing, what's yes. hard about it. We'll yes. give suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, I'm ready. I'm ready to support. Mm. All right. So let's talk about this for a moment. I know that sometimes when we go to the supermarket and then we see all low sugar, you know, sugar free and all of that. And then you see, so, let, let me use milk mm -hmm. for an example. You know, when you go to the supermarket to get a milk, there are some milk. Uh, that you can categorize as full cream. Mm -hmm. And there are some milk boldly written on the sachet or on the pack as um, low sugar. So sometimes, some people will prefer, somebody like me, would I, I naturally go for the low sugar because I, I believe that, oh, this one has less sugar compared mm -hmm. to the full cream. So is that going to be beneficial to us? So we have two things. We have low with three things, low sugar, okay, low fat, no sugar right okay. so let's explain them briefly um anytime you can have a low sugar option please take it okay the problem though is that at times they try and go no sugar and then they now put a sugar substitute those most of those sugar substitutes a lot of them there's one that's natural that doesn't have bad research but most of the the ones that were made have shown that at least in lab animals, they can cause cancer. The no sugar. The the yes, yeah, because they have to sweeten it somehow, right? So you have something with no sugar, but it'll still be sweet because they're using a substitute. And I'm happy you brought that up. The sodas that we're trying to run away from on the show, they have no sugar alternatives, right? 
uh, is a carbonated beverage with a sugar substitute because you'll drink it it'll still taste sweet those things are unnatural those mm -hmm. sugar substitutes are unnatural and they're like i said before there are a lot of them that have been shown to cause cancer in laboratory animals that's enough for me personally if i know that this thing can cause cancer mm -hmm. or even has a the dream of cancer around it i treat cancer patients every day you do not want to be a cancer patient it's just it's not it's a miserable existence right so anything i can do to reduce my cancer risk i like to do so the low sugar, oftentimes too, the when they say low sugar, it usually means it's only the only the sugar that came with it. For example, milk, like you mentioned, you know that they add sugar to a lot of milk, mm -hmm. added sugar, right? For you as a woman, you really do not need more than 20 grams of added sugar a day. 20 grams is five teaspoons. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not just in your drink, your coffee, your tea, or anything like that. It's in the bread you eat, it's in the milk you drink, everything like that. They add sugar because they're all searching for something called the bliss point, B-L-I-S-S. -S. Bliss is when you eat that thing and you're happy, mm -hmm. right? There's a scientist, I won't mention his name, I don't want him to be famous. There's a scientist <laughs> that is paid millions by the food company. So you have a product, right? Let's call it Dr. Jai cereal. Dr. Jai cereal sells about a thousand copies a, a month, right? I want to increase sales. I hire this guy and he breaks down the formula of my cereal and starts playing with the sugars and to a lesser degree, the fats to make it explode in somebody's mouth. Right. Mm. And when they want to add sugar, they usually get the cheapest source, the fructose, the corn syrup, all that kind of stuff. And there's a point where and they do a lot of testing with the blind studies. And okay. there's a point where they'll say, aha, this we've added enough sugar. Typically, that's anywhere from 25 to 100 grams of sugar per serving. So that's five to 10 teaspoons per serving. Mm. If you look at a chocolate bar, that's not one serving. Chocolate bar is anywhere from two to three servings, meaning you're supposed to only eat a third of it at a time. Uh, our listeners need to understand that if you look at the package and it sells you 20 grams of sugar, mm. that's five teaspoons, four grams in a teaspoon. You have to also look at the servings. So that 20 grams of sugar is in one serving of that, of that thing. Uh, most of the servings are much smaller than a normal person eats, especially an average Nigerian. Okay. So typically we're eating two and a half times of a serving. So that four or five table, uh, four or five teaspoons of sugar is really like 10 to 12 and a half. Day. That's a lot of sugar in one meal. Then you now go to the next meal and next meal. You see how it can easily accumulate. Mm -hmm. So we need to run away from ingesting it ourselves or adding it ourselves. You're still going to get it in other meals. We, we have to struggle to get rid of that. But there is absolutely no need to add it to your food. So to go back to your example, if I had a milk that was high fat, low sugar, I would drink that. Okay. I'm not as worried about the fat as much as I'm worried about the sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Because the fat can get converted to glucose in the body, can get converted to energy in the body. It's the sugar that's going to get converted to fat much easier than the fat gets converted to fat. Mm. All right. So, yeah, if I ate a diet 100 percent of fat and I overeat, I'll, st I'll probably get fat. But it's not at the rate as if I ate the sugar. I'll get fat much faster and much heavier. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Abila, for your thoughts on that one this morning. I have this message from Fred. Fred sent in this from Ikeja. Fred said, Doctor, thank you so much, sir. My question is, if sugar is a poison, then why do we take it? Second question mm -hmm. is, I eat rice so much. Is there, is there any problem on that? And he said rice, right? Yes, okay. he said he eats rice so much. All right. So, um... The first one is, if sugar is a poison, why do we take it? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say twofold. One, it tastes good, right? Okay. Um, if you put a bowl of sugar and a bowl of vegetables in front of a, a child, more than likely they'll eat the sugar first, right? Same thing with animals. We've tried done these studies many times. Sugar tastes, tastes good. So why do we still take it? It's because I think we don't know what we're doing. We don't know. We've been coached and, and advertised to and marketed and, and conditioned that sugar is good. We have to have a certain amount of sugar in our diet. And we've also been taught to reward ourselves with sugar. Think about all the things that are very high and the things that run away from cupcakes, cookies, candy, chocolate. Those are all rewards. Those are all rewards. You know, if your kid does well in school, you give him a piece of yes. candy. 
if you, just like me, when I felt I had a good long day at work, I eat a piece of candy. All those things are 100% sugar. So it's tied into our brains. Are the chemicals that mod that make us feel happy are rewarded by sugar. So that's why we still take it. We should look at, forget everything I said, just look at life. As we have demonized fat and eaten all the sugar we want, obesity has gone through the roof, heart disease through the roof, diabetes through the roof. So it cannot be, okay, let's just look at, forget all the statistics I said, all the research, just look at that, right? So um, that's his answer to question number one. Second question is rice, and we've talked about carbohydrates. If he's in his ideal weight, right? If the man likes rice and you're at your ideal weight and um, you don't have any health problems, you know, your blood vessels are clear, your heart is healthy, you're not having joint pain, then I'm not really worried about this kind of uh, person. I'm worried about the people that have heart disease or predisposed to heart disease. Okay. I'm worried about the people that are overweight or obese. Okay. I'm worried about the people that are tired of feeling tired. I'm worried about the people that are just unhappy with how they look. Okay. Right. Okay. So all of those people and more should analyze how much sugar and by extension, how much starch they're taking. Mm. If you're unhappy with what's going on, you have to make changes. Like that, you know, we say the definition of insanity, doing the same mm -hmm. thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. So I would challenge the person I wrote in that if you're happy with how your body looks, fine. If you're happy with your health status, no problem. But if you're unhappy, then we have to look at what you're putting in your mouth. Mm -hmm. More than likely, I'm going to find too much sugar and too much carbohydrates. And I've been doing this for a while now. Almost everybody that's, you know, some people think there's a glandular problem or it's a metabolic problem or mm. it's a genetic problem. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. But I find that in less than one in 10. So less than 10 percent of people have that issue. 90 percent of the time is the person mm. is what, what they're person putting, eats, what they're putting in, their, in their mouth. You talked about it earlier um, in passing sleep, poor sleep, high stress, poor diet. Those are the, those are the people that are going to suffer. And um, there's no need to if mm. we can adjust our diet. Mm. All right. There is no need to if we can basically adjust our diet. Let's mm. talk about this one, too, because I know that um, in a bit you run away from sugar. Some people have replaced their sugar with honey. Yeah. Now, is honey more beneficial Liquid than crack. sugar? Liquid sugar. <laughs> mm. Um. I said this, you know, funny, uh, a, one of my patients said this about two weeks ago that they replaced all their sugar with honey. And I laughed. I didn't mean to laugh, but I, I had to. There's an animal in the wild that loves honey. Do you know the animal? No. No? A bear. Have you heard of bears yes, before? Yes, yes. Bears love honey because bears have them two to four months out of the entire year and they sleep straight. So, you know, they'll go to hibernation, they go underground, they sleep, some of them sleep three months without moving. So they need a lot of fat. They want to store a lot of fat. That's why bears love honey. Honey makes them fat. So if animals know that, and we want to now start eating honey, be prepared to be fat, mm. right? It is liquid. And the honey that we sell here, because we don't have a lot of bees, that a lot of honey making bees in, in Nigeria. The honey that we sell here is really very little natural honey and a whole bunch of the sugars that we talked about. Um, I, I did this about three weeks ago, went to the supermarkets here and pulled all the um, commonly the all the honey that I can find on the shelf. All of them, all 100 percent of them had added sugar. Mm. 100 percent. Honey is sweet enough as it, as it is. Then you now add sugar mm. to it. And typically that's fructose is also also poisonous. So um, with like any poison, your body can can deal with a small amount of it you know we're poisoned uh, every time you go behind a diesel truck and you inhale those fumes that's a poison right but we still survive your body will still survive but you want good results you need to avoid as much as you can mm -hmm. so honey is not a good alternative for sugar because it's uh, it's still just the same thing just in a liquid form mm -hmm. All right, so thank you very much for that one, Dr. Abiola. This is 12 minutes right before 11 from WFM 91.7. If you are just joining us, you're listening to Radio Doctor. Radio Doctor is Nigeria's first specialized radio health program where medical doctors consult for free and advise on women radio. 
Radio Doctor is broadcast Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. My name is Blessing Agbeetan. Yes, our Radio Doctor for today is Dr. Abiola Jai, the MD CEO of RA Specialist Hospital. And today on the show, he has been consulting and advising on how sugar is slowly killing us. So far, he has been able to educate us on the need to take away fructose if we can. And of course, he mentioned some of the meals you can find your fructose. He also said sometimes you can actually um, go for products where you know maybe high fat, low sugar, because the enemy here is the sugar. That is exactly what we are running away from. And he has been able to tell us. I mean, if there's something I'm taking away is the fact that when you do away with sugar, you have more uh, brain. Your brain functions properly, yeah. and of course, you gain more energy. And yes, you can still cut down this weight that we're talking about because I feel like that's the hardest part of living. You want to cut down this weight. Uh, you want to cut down your body size, and it's just really hard. I think the last time I checked my weight in twenty twenty. Or 2021. I have checked it recently. Okay. But I think in 2020 or 2021, I weighed about 45. Okay. And then I checked 45 kilos? Yes. Okay. And then recently I checked. The weight is about 65. And I screamed like, what? How did I get here exactly? So, I mean, I think for a minute I was worried like, what is really happening? Because the moment I started, I start feeling heavy, then it means that there is a problem Mm -hmm. somewhere. So I, I just naturally hope and, you know, feel that we can take one or two things away from this one. So let's talk about general health now mm-hmm. as we wrap up on the show this morning. Um, what should we take note of as individuals as much as we're trying to maintain a healthy living, as much as we're trying to say, oh, let's stay away from sugar, you know, let's try as much as possible to um, engage ourselves in good diets, you know, sleep well and all of that. What are we supposed to do? Well, the the first thing you have to do is be honest with yourself. You know, um, I tell my patients all the time, I can't enter your house. I can't come home with you. You need to first admit that you you need help if you need help or first admit that there's a problem. And what I tell people to do is go and look in the mirror and physically really look in the mirror, not not rhetorically. Take your shirt off. Take your bra and panties off. Look at yourself. Are you happy with what you see? Because mm-hmm. a lot of times, you know, I mean, people will have a mirror in the bathroom, a mirror in the bedroom. They don't look they don't look at themselves in, in there. Maybe subconsciously you don't want to or you're you're just not in it. You need to look and stare at yourself sideways, frontwards and see, are you happy? That picture will help motivate you. So the next time somebody offers you one of those sugary drinks or a cupcake and say, oh, just eat one, just eat, just eat a cookie. You'll remember what you look like in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You know, um, all the things we were discussing are not short term plan. I'm not telling you just to go and drink this and you'll lose all the weight in two weeks. Those are also fool's gold. You know, when you have these fad diets or rapid diets or quick diets, the reason why none of them work is because your body is not set up that way. So um, the, the people that lose weight and keep it off are those that change lifestyle. And lifestyle is just, and I'm not saying starving yourself. You didn't hear me come on here and say I skip meals or anything. No, I don't, I don't do that. I don't starve myself. I eat things that are taste good. Yeah. I just have to change the composition of those things. So mm. if I, you know, and I may have more discipline than others, but if I had a diet of sodas and chocolate bars last year, and I've made the change over to healthier things, like I still eat fish and butter and meat and all those kind of things, which are also enjoyable. Just I'm, I'm just still encouraging people try it, see the benefits. Try it and without without doing cheats, without cheating. Try for one month because you're cheating yourself when you do these cheat days. If you're doing and a lot of times we have to know socially, misery likes company. Mm. So if somebody is seeing you dropping all the sodas, dropping all the sweet things, mm. they may want to offer you those things because they want you to be like them, be mm. with them, mm. right? You mm. have to speak out and say, no, I, I don't eat those anymore. Mm. And um, it gets easier as the, as time goes on, right? Mm. So, um, and then hopefully the friend that's trying to offer you those things will, will now join you. you. There it is, there mm. it is. And the more like minds we have around, the the better. Mm. I, um, I met, before my grandfather died, I used to sit with him. And he would drink tea without sugar. And I used to think that was the craziest thing. 
well, how do you do it? I know I get you. Was like, oh, that be I gave up sugar in 1955. And he was so proud. He was so <laughs> proud about it, mm. and I didn't understand what 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 it uh, mm. what it meant. Um, and unfortunately, he's he still became diabetic. Wow. He became diabetic. He went blind from diabetes. Um, all this before I was a doctor, you know, um, and before I came back here. But so why I'm saying that is that it's not just sugar, right? Mm. He loved carbohydrates. Oh, he could eat a mountain of carbohydrates, right? So big piles of rice, big piles of swallow, big. And so that's probably what gave him the diabetes, not skipping out of the one teaspoon the sugar. of sugar in his, in, his, in his cup. But since his generation has come and gone, you know, now we like to grab those drinks, those fizzy drinks. We, we drink them in record numbers. We like to grab those breads that are loaded with sugar. We like to grab all those other snacks that are loaded with sugar. We, we love that in this country. Mm -hmm. um, we even have companies dedicated to, to making those things in this country. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what we really need to be uh, afraid of. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Abila, for being on the show this morning. May I invite anybody that didn't get to ask any questions of course we're now doing uh we'll do a facebook live after this roa specialist hospital okay um or, or you can look my name up uh we're on facebook and instagram we do that immediately after the show okay take questions and if anybody has something personal they can call me directly okay. i think you'll give up yes yes i was about to do so Thanks. so if you want to reach out to dr abula you can reach out to him on 0913-579-5108 let me take it again or nine one three five seven nine five one or oh, eight. Thank you very much, Dr. Abila, for being My part pleasure. of the conversation. Pleasure. All right, so there you have it. Your health is well. So do well to take your health seriously. Thank you very much for being a part of the conversation. Radio Doctor and Women Radio is Nigeria's first specialized radio health program, broadcast Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. Do well to join us again on Monday at 10 a.m. for another moment on radio. Many thanks to the producer, Esther Larabe, and to the executive producer, Tom Okewali Shunaya. My name is Blessen. Agneeta. Good morning. To sponsor this program, call the number 0816-480-7613. Mr. Johnson, I'm here for...